lights out everybody. It is later than you think. This is Arch Obler bringing you another in our series of stories of the unusual. And once again, we caution you. These lights out stories are definitely not for the timid soul. So we tell you calmly and very sincerely, if you frighten easily, turn off your radio now. And now, Profits Unlimited. It, it just doesn't make sense. Don't it, miss? But, but why don't you row me there? I told you, miss, no boat can get past the reef. But surely my grandfather can afford a power boat. Last one sank five years ago. Then why doesn't he... Oh, what's the use of asking any more questions? I've asked and I've asked, and every answer just gets me more mixed up than I was before. It's all very simple, miss. Simple? All just a question of money. What do you mean, money? Ten generations the Cordes have lived and died on the island. It's all just a matter of money. But my father... Yes, yes, all but your father. He was the one they called the fool. Mr. Williams, I don't think you've any right... It isn't a matter of right or wrong, miss. It's what they said. How much farther is there to go? I can't see. Yes, mist is always heavy this time of morning. You'll be there soon enough. It's all a matter of money. Oh, why don't you talk words that mean something? You're like my father was. We could talk perfectly sanely about anything in the world, but the moment I spoke about the island and my ancestors, then there wasn't any clarity or logic anymore. Why don't you tell me what it's all about? Nothing to tell you that you won't know when we get there. But tell me something. Sun's rising, Mr. Lick. Look, Mr. Williams, for 15 years, ever since I've been old enough to know what it's all about, I've been trying to get some information about my family. All I know is that the generations of Cordes have lived on this island. While my father was alive, I could never come here. But now he's dead, and I'm here, and I've got to know something about them, anything. Yes, so that when I meet my grandfather, I'll know a little of what it's all about. Please, tell me. It's all the matter. Don't say that again. Tell me something that means something to me. Rowing in the middle of nowhere. I tell you, I... Wait, miss. Wait? What? Ahead. If you just look ahead of you. Land. Island always comes sudden like out of the water. So many trees. They're always green. You're not rowing, yet we move. Always a current. I... I've waited so long to get here. Aye. They're moving so swiftly, what? But there's a landing pier. Aye. Hold on. We'll bump. Now, I'll hold it. If you'll jump. All right. You'll you stand there, please. Wait for me. Yes. No one here. My my grandfather, where is he? Are you afraid already? Afraid? Well, I should have. Of course I'm not. But they knew I was coming here. My grandfather, why isn't he... Through the trees. Look. <gasps> You want clear answers. There's one of them. Chimneys. Smoke. Factories. Yes, they are factories, aren't they? Aye. But factories here... Stood there for ten generations. But on an island in the middle of... Why here? It's all a matter of money. What? Tell me. 330 years ago, Pierre Corday came to this island and built them up. But... But why here? I'm telling you. I've been telling you all along. A matter of money. You know what money is. Well, it's been the day and the night and the sun and the moon of your family for as long as there's been one of you. Money, I and here was the making of it and the horror of it. But why? Let me tell you. You wanted to know. Let me tell you quick. His profits weren't big enough, Pierre Corday thought to himself. And the trouble was with the men in the factories. He decided they wanted too much. Oh, it was the men at the machines who were to blame could find a place where only he'd be the boss, where there'd be no investigators and boards of arbitration, and then he'd tell the men what to do, and they'd do it, and up with the profits and out with the headaches in an island. Aye, a private island. That was the answer. And this was it? Aye. It. Beyond the jurisdiction of any man but one of the name of Corday. So here he moved his factory's machine after machine, and when everything was set up, he sent out to the places where men walked the streets looking for work, and he said... 
Listen to me, you single ones. You're hungry, so listen to me. I have a place where there's work for you. Easy work. Work at the machines. You sit all day. You don't have to think the machines think for you. Just sit all day and do the same thing over and over and over. I'll pay you well and I'll pay you regularly. Aye, a life job if you do what I say all your lives. And and men came here? Aye. Why not? Five hundred pit ones, all set for life jobs in the factories of Pierre Corday. Came here 330 years ago. But why is there smoke coming out of the factories now? 500 of them. And they sat down at the machines and started working. And Pierre Cordray bought women for him to mate with. And my kin was with them. And the machines started turning. But the factories, they're still working. Why? Listen. You wanted me to tell you, so listen. Listen to the rest. 330 years ago, and each had his own bit of work at the machines. One to press the lever here and the other to turn a screw here. Same work hour after hour, day after day. The months went by and the profits kept on coming in. But some of them began to get tired of it, tired of the machines. Fools they were from the start. Pierre Corday picked them that way. Still they got tired. They wanted to get back to the change in life of the rest of the world. Give us hunger, they said, but give us change. They said that I, but they didn't get what they wanted. Then why didn't they go away? Where? To drown in the sea? Some did. Then why didn't they rebel? Aye, and some did that. And died for the trying. Died? Aye. They say that of the 500 men who came here at the end of two years, half of them had fattened the sharks in the harbor. It isn't possible. Aye, it all isn't possible. An island in the middle of nowhere with spinning machines and men at them. None of it's possible. But here it is. 330 years old and still the same as it was. Tell me, you mean in those factories that... What? What? Watch. People. Marching. Who... Who are they? The generation of them Pierre Corday brought and kept here. The way they walk. Heads down. I'm hanging. Men like... My grandfather. Take me to him. Take you to him? Yes, take me to my grandfather. Your grandfather's dead. Dead? The island and they belong to you. His grave is so... It's on you. Two weeks, I buried him myself. Did he send for me before he... No, it was me. You? Me. I knew that you were the last one of them left, and I wanted you here. But... But why? I said it, didn't I? You're the last core day. 330 years, and you're the last. Why is the factory working so late? That's the second shift. There are two a day. All night? Aye. But why? It's been that way for 330 years. It's not true, none of it. No. I won't listen to you anymore. Wait. Wait. Where are you going, girl? Down there. You can't go there now. I'm going to the factory. Talk to them. Find out the truth. All right, all right. Find out for yourself. I want you to do that. Aye. Aye, talk to them. Talk to them. Talk to them. Row on row of men and women and children. Aye, why not the children? The more hands, the more production. That was the law of the Cordays, the law of the island. Their faces, empty. Machines do the thinking. But they sit so quietly, not talking, none of them. Williams, why is this? Crouching over the tools like, like animals. Are they always like this? When the whistles blow, they eat. When it blows again, they march back to the barracks behind the factory. Barracks? Aye. Barracks, kennels, name it what you want. That's where they live. Live until after 12 hours, the whistle calls them back to work. But the children... I told you, the children do like the rest. They work as soon as they can walk. It's been the law of the Cordays for over 300 years without change. It's the only law they know. Look at this worker, Miss Corday. Look at him, I tell you. What's he making? Look at his face. 
lovely thing, ain't it? And his blood is the same as their blood, mixed together all through the factory. Look at them, Miss Corday. Yours, yours, I tell you. Yours, all yours. Sit here at the machines until the flesh rots in their bones and they drop in their places. You inherit them a thousand of them. Ain't you proud of your inheritance? What is he making? What does it matter what they're making? The things they're making ain't been shipped from this island in a hundred years. What? Aye, for a hundred years they've been at the machines, but it's like a dog chasing his tail without beginning and end. What comes out of the last machine's brought back to the first machine and broken up and started all over again. Why don't they stop? Stop, stop. How can you stop a rhythm that's been in the blood for ten generations? Why don't they talk? Ah, you're scared now, Miss Carter. They'll talk to me. Of course they will. This one. This one. This one. You, I, I beg your pardon. Would you stop work a moment and talk to me? I said, would you stop work a moment and talk to me? William, doesn't he hear me? He can't. Then why doesn't he even turn his head? Not him. Not any of them. I don't believe you. This woman, she'll... Lady, would you please stop work and talk to me? I'm scared to look at him. Lady, talk to me. I'm Dale Corday. I'm scared all right. I insist that you talk to me. Doesn't answer. I told you, not while they work. All your family bred them right. Bred? Yes, yeah, yes, yeah, like you breed dogs the way you want them. Yes, yeah, for 330 years, bred to sit and work and no nonsense. Never to talk up to the right, just sit and work the way they're told. You stand there looking at me and you don't believe me, do you? Well, try to get him to stop work. Try to get him to say something to you. Try to get him to act like human beings. Well, they're not human beings, they're workers. Yes, workers for the family of Corday. And what are you going to do about it? Don't be afraid of me. Who? You. I'm Dale Corday. Corday. Boy. Please don't tremble. I... What's your name? Yosa. Joseph what? Yosa. Do you uh, like it here? Like, like work here. No complaint. Like work here. No complaint. No, no, stop. They taught you that very well, didn't they? Like work here. No complaint. Wouldn't you like to leave this place? Sail away across the sea. Like work here. No complaint. Don't keep saying that. You don't understand what you say, do you? Look at me. Look at your face. Wouldn't you like to leave the factory and do what you please? Like work here. You've got to understand. You've got to talk to me. Why, well, you're the only one I see that has anything in the face. Oh, Joseph, look at me. No, don't hang your head. Look at me. I'm your friend. I want to know about you. Don't be afraid. Talk to me. That pretty flower in your hair, what is it? The flower, what's it called? What's its name? Yo, forget. It's very pretty. What do you do in the factory, Joseph? What is your work? Like come up here. No, come say. Yes. Uh, would you like to take a walk with me? Walk? Yes, through the valley and show me the flowers. No, no walk. Why not? We're so slow soon. Walk the again. You don't have to work if you don't want to. Come on. No. We'll so blow soon. But I tell you, it's all right. You don't have to no, go. No, I go. But I want you to stay here. You will stay no. here. No, let you go. You'll no, stay here and talk to me. You'll stay here. I'm only let trying to go. help you. Let's don't blow. Don't wait. Don't wait. Well, now you'd believe I told you what would happen. Oh, she, she bit me. Like an animal. When the whistle blows, they go to work. It's in their blood. In their blood, in their blood, in their blood. I've had enough of that talk. And what are you going to do about it? Close the factory. What? Yes, close them, lock them, shut them out. You say the rhythm of the factory is in their blood. All right, I'll stop. You hear me, Williams? You'll close the factory tonight. <laughs> well? Well, well, it's done. Good. Tomorrow, he'll start me back to the mainland. I'll make arrangements to get those people off of here. Will you now? You're breathing so heavily. As soon as I locked the doors, I ran back all the way. Why? I wanted to see your face. Why? I wanted to see your face after the whistle blows. Whistle? 
Aye, it'll blow just as always. But I told you that... And I did. I locked the factory, shut the big doors and threw the bolts, but the whistles at the powerhouse and some of them are always there. Aye, the whistle will blow and they'll march to work. But they won't get in. Aye, here they come. You'll start me to the mainland very early tomorrow, William. It's a long way. I know it, I know it, but it's got to be done. Too long a way. You will sail. Tonight I'm putting an end to their marching. Tomorrow I'll... What's that? William, don't you hear it? I, I hear it. It's from the factory. I. As if they were... As if they were breaking down the door. I. Yes, that's what they're doing. William, don't stand there. Go and stop them. Turn the factory's closed forever. Well, Tell it's ended. Tell them yourself. They've broken in. Gone back to work. People. People, stop working and listen to me. Stop working, I tell you. I've got to talk to you. I've got to tell you important things. A little while ago, you broke down the door, but that was because you didn't understand what I was trying to do. And now I want to tell you, so listen to me. My name is Corday, and this factory and, and island and everything on it is my inheritance. And I want to close this factory because I want to help you. Help you to begin to live like human beings. Living means books to be read full of new excitement and understanding. And wonderful music to be played and listened to. And the enjoyment of your homes and conversation and friendship. But no, oh, you're not listening to me. None of you. Please don't listen. Why won't you come away from your machine? Why won't you stop them? I want to help you. Listen to me, please. Just listen to me. Listen to me. All right, then. You'll listen to this. I'm going to burn the factory down. You hear me? If that's the only way to stop you, I'm going to burn it down. Burn it. Burn it. Burn it. Burn it. Burn it. Burn it. It's a good sea this morning for sailing. Have you everything aboard? Aye. Is there only some way to communicate to the mainland without going there? There's none. What time is it? Almost seven. And we go when the tide changes? Aye. Wind's freshening. Listen. Listen on the wind. You hear it? I hear. What? What do you think? It's them. For two days. Never even going home. I heard you say you'd burn it and they're afraid. Afraid I'd burn their cage and so they stay there watching. Watching. One shift works and the other watches. That's how it is. But not their cage alone, Miss Corday. What do you mean? I mean, it's yours. What? One boat on the island. This. And in a couple of minutes more, it won't be here. What are you talking about? You and I are That's going... That's where you haven't got it straight, Miss Corday. Going, yes, but only me. I've wanted to ask you this for days now. Why are you always trying to frighten me? Now I've done it. Eh? Turning, we'd better... The tide... Eh? The go. Yes, I've scared you now, haven't I? Well, say it. Say it. Now, you don't have to. It's in your eyes. Just the thought of being left here with them year after year, nothing but them. Ah, it's enough to turn the inside of your white, ain't it? Why do you think I sent for you? I'll tell you and I'll tell you quick and then I'm off to sea. I sent for you because I'm a man born different from all the rest of us here. There were three kinds, workers, servants, and you, Cordays. Well, servant I was, but in the morning of me, a piece of hate got in my heart, and it kept growing through the years. I mean, it's more than I am. I hate for a name and the sound of the name and those that have it, Corday. Well, you're the last of them, and here you'll stay with the sound of them and the sound of the factory grinding in your ears until you're as old as I am. And I hate for Pierre Corday and the rest of his kind is as old as mine is. This is your inheritance. An island in the factory. And a thousand perfect workmen who never want anything for themselves except the bit of food they grow. Who sit at your machines until they rot and die. A perfect inheritance for a core day. I'll leave it all for you until you rot and die. William. William, come back. You don't understand. These people. I want to... William. (sighs) 
You cry. <gasps> Me, Joe. Joe. Me, Dad. Dad. What are you? We're so slow. Me, no work. Why? Me, want show you flower. Oh, my dear. You cry. No. No, I'm not crying. There isn't time. I've so much to tell you. You first, and then the others. One by one. You talk. First, I want to tell you freedom. Say it. Freedom. Freedom. Three hundred years ago, my people and your people gave it up. My people wanted profits, but they lost their freedom to the machinery they set up to give them those profits. Your people wanted the security of a bare existence, and so, too, gave up their rights as men to the machinery of profits. But now we've got to win that freedom back again for all of us. Free. Done. Come. We'll go to them. I've, I've so much to try and tell them. Things that I understand now. That freedom is the essence of the good life for all men. And that security without freedom is a sham which turns men into regiments of less than men. I've so much to tell them. So much to tell them. 